Hello cozy friends. This video is sponsored by EA. I'm so excited. Thank you EA for sponsoring this and we are exploring the Growing Together Sims 4 pack today. The Growing Together pack is what I've been very very excited for. It really taps into what makes Sims just like fun and enjoyable which is just really developed interesting interpersonal relationship dynamics that play out and I love a pack that just adds to that. Exploring a pack where families are kind of at the center when our family shapes who we are so much and, and our upbringing shapes who we are so much. I feel like it's just the perfect pack to explore let's just get straight into it let's get straight into it oh my gosh okay so growing together let's read what it's all about a lasting impact key choices and milestones will help shape who your sims are unlock and change personality traits throughout your sims lives as they cope with midlife crises respond to family requests to move in and more self-discovery is a lifelong journey i love this i feel like it adds so much depth to like the story aspect of things perfect for families located along an ocean bay oh my gosh i haven't seen anything i have not seen like a preview of the new world nothing so i'm really excited social dynamics sometimes sims just click your sim might have a natural social chemistry with a sim they meet at a party or they might naturally clash family ties the bonds between your related sims are important and complex as they experience life together there will be opportunities for both drama and unity that will affect family dynamics and sims relationships with their family members this is the kind of story line complexity i'm looking for what we're gonna do is start a family and all of them are gonna have have a cozy gaming interest like we're gonna make it generational we're gonna have a grandmother who lives in the same house as a couple and their kid but they're gonna have a child might not have the same interests as everybody else in the family we're gonna see how those dynamics play out I'm gonna play with very quick lifespans so that we can kind of like see how the dynamics play out okay I customized her face real quick now we're gonna look at the new hair there's so much cute new hair oh my god the little bun adorable okay I think I'm gonna give her this really 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 cute little puff puff bun she's cute let's check out the new clothes yay I'm so excited okay I narrowed it down to all the growing together outfits just so that we can see everything that's new I love the sweaters the big chunky sweater it's interesting it's giving like different decades almost like this is this is kind of 80s a lot of like this is kind of 90s to me some of this is kind of like 2000s this is like kind of the you would think like grandma might wear this you know i'm gonna put her in this these are so cute and this are you kidding me oh <gasps> these little quilt shorts are you kidding me are you kidding me these are like all of these are the exact pants i've been wanting of the pants this is my favorite pack like every single one of these pants i'm gonna use okay no new shoes in the pack so i think i'll go with yeah i'm gonna go with the sneaks so for bell bell's gonna be outgoing cheerful geeky the social butterfly of the family let's host a party let's host a dinner okay this is pax pax is shyer more family oriented so i think they're gonna want to be super parent and you already know activity they're gonna love gaming they're gonna be a bookworm they're gonna be very neat and then they're gonna be a geek and now we're gonna create grandmama all right grandma tina she's also gonna be a geek she's gonna be family oriented okay and we're gonna make her a slob she's kind of gonna be dirty which is gonna clash with packs a bit that might be interesting we'll see how that plays out might be interesting so they're gonna have one kid already about this age Yari's the one who's gonna hate gaming. Everybody's gonna have a difficult, let's go to Yari. Everybody's gonna have a difficult relationship because she's just, she's on her own. She's growing up with her own, own interests. And the first in the family to do that, the first kid they had, all they wanted was family legacy, especially, especially Tina. Just wanted a family legacy of cozy gamers. And Yari came along, grew into herself, and it gave them that. So it's a little bit difficult. She, they have a difficult relationship. But with Gio, they're very, very close with Gio. Very, Tina's going to be very supportive. The siblings are going to be jokesters because they don't, they don't have any expectations for each other, right? Like they don't have any expectations. Okay, the family is ready. Look at the cozy family. They're so cute. I love the matching pants. Okay, San Sequoia, San Sequoia. Let's check it out, let's check it out. This is beautiful though. So we have Hopewell Hills. Let's do Hopewell Hills. I love how they have a little mat for the baby though. Okay, grandma is stepping on the baby though. I do need her to not step on the child. This is so cute. The new baby items. There's a little like, you know, a little whatever those are called. You can tell I've been around babies a lot in my life. And the bed, this new bed. Love her, love it. Let's check the the. Swatches. Oh, I love. 
Okay, you know what? Look at look at my room. Okay, you know I love this. You know I love this. Oh, these are so cute. These are so cute. Okay, how much is the tree? Ha oh my god, the tree house is massive. I say we spend all the rest of our money on this massive tree house. What do y'all think? <laughs> you know what? No, I say we save up for it. Let's save up for it. We could get a little splash pad. We'll save up for the swing set in the tree house. Finally, we're getting into the actual gameplay of this family. We're gonna see how the family dynamics play out. We're gonna explore the new features. Oh, they already broke the stove. Thank God. Thank God I didn't buy that tree house. I'm so excited to have infants now. We have baby on the floor just chilling. Let's see, why is, why is Tina going upstairs? Tina. Oh, she's going to play video games already. Having some girl time. Oh, having some family time. Oh, Geo, tummy time together. Bottle feed. Let's bottle feed Geo. Oh, let's let's actually breastfeed Geo. Geo rarely wakes up in a good mood. I love seeing this. Oh, here we go. Here's the breastfeeding. Feeding Tinkler. Geo often pees while being fed. Oh my god. That is so cute. So hates wake up time, feeding Tinkler. I love this. I love this. I'm gonna say prefers breastfeeding. Yay, all better, all clean. Why is he angry? Low energy. We'll go to sleep, little bubbas. Can I tell bedtime story? That's so cute. Come on, baby, go to sleep. She's like, thank God. It's Gio's birthday in a couple days. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so we're, we gotta get our baby time in now. Yes, girl, you cook those eggs. We need to get some of them jobs is what we need to do. Okay, we're gonna have her be a, a barista. Pax, buddy, you kind of need to wake up. Grandma, let's, I'm going to have grandma do a part-time job too. She's, she's one of those grandmas where like she likes to stay busy. A substitute teacher totally makes sense for her. Okay, finally Pax is up. Pax is going to have a full-time job. Freelancer, available trades, digital artist, programmer, writer. I think programmer, I think self-employed programmer makes sense actually. Look at this moment we're having. Okay, so we're gonna do tech guru so that they just like leave and come back. Cozy Gamer Grandma got distracted playing cozy games instead of writing the letter of recommendation. She got distracted. That's relatable. What a rush. This boost of adrenaline is making Yari feel amazing. Should she embrace firmly that she likes fitness? Sure. Look at that. I feel like that is like it's developing the storyline that None of none of the other family members like fitness. They're gamers. Come on. Okay, we don't touch grass. None of them like fitness. But Lil Yari, she's taking care of herself. She's cooking herself breakfast because she's kind of, you know, an outsider of the family, you know? She's independent. She does stuff on her own because she doesn't connect with her family as naturally as Gio, the new baby, who as as a baby, you know, just probably already loves gaming. <laughs> she, Yari, likes fitness. Eating dirt is really unhealthy. No, I want to say that it's fine. Ooh, manners increase, emotional control decrease. Pax has advised Yari affecting her character values. She wants fun. I'm gonna have Yari go out and play. <gasps> Yari's gonna practice riding her bike by herself. You know, she's she's stubborn. She is the lone wolf. Doesn't wanna play video games like the rest of her family, okay? She wants to do what she wants to do. What she wants to do is active stuff. She wants to go touch grass. Her family doesn't, she wants to. So she's gonna teach herself how to ride a bike. Look at her. I love this. You go, girl. You go, Yari. We're rooting for you. We're all rooting for you, Yari. Come on, girl. You got it. Which is interesting because I gave them the close dynamic, family dynamic, and it's showing. He comes up and talks to her all the time. You know who he doesn't talk to? Yari. Very interesting how this all plays out. Very interesting. Yari's trying to have a moment with her mom and her mom's like, I'm gaming. Hey, bro, it's me, your boy, Kyle. Listen, I'm coming over to your place to chill for a few days. <gasps> Just like old times. Does, doesn't that sound sick? This is a new feature. What? Wait, what? You don't remember me? Ha, huh? dude, you're so funny. Seriously, never change. Hope you have some juice ready. It's going to be lit. I'm going to say yes. First visitor milestone. Oh. <gasps> That's fun. Okay, so we have a visitor coming. Oh, here he is. Who is this? Who are you? Kyle. Kyle just came in with a suitcase. Who is Kyle? Is Kyle a past friend, past lover? Let's welcome him. I don't know where he's going to stay. You going to you going to sleep with grandma? Share a bed with grandma? I'm going to have him stop playing video games and welcome Kyle. Okay, okay. Um ask Kyle to help out. Oh my god, what happens if we do that? Okay, he seems okay with it. Or is he sad about it? Oh, he actually is helping out. Okay, Kyle's pulling his weight. Kyle's visiting, you know, surprise visit, but he's helping to clean. Maybe Kyle was a mutual friend because he seems to be getting along with Pax. 
All right. Well, we'll see where he sleeps tonight. Let's serve vegetable dumplings. Look at Kyle just dancing. He's just dancing. Kyle's just dancing. Pax is asleep. Kyle's dancing. Okay, let's see. He goes, he's going downstairs. Kyle is just an active guy. Ask me about career. I want to know. What's your story? What are you doing these days, Kyle? He's unemployed. He's unemployed. What's the story, Kyle? What is the story? I mean, this was a lovely hangout. This was a great hangout. He's cracking open a, a drink, eating dumplings at night, just like old days. Maybe college friends, you know? Maybe college friends. It's so fun, though. It's so fun to have, like, a, a someone just stop by unannounced. I mean, announced, but very last minute. Kyle, Kyle, Kyle. You don't have a job. You look like a little surfer boy. You came here last minute. Barely any warning. You ate our dumplings, drank our drinks, danced in the bedroom with Pax. It's been a great hangout. Come again anytime. Look, he's taking the trash out. An ideal guest. He's a good friend. He's a good friend. He's just going to sleep on the couch. Y'all, Kyle has been a exemplary guest. If you are going to be a last minute guest, be a Kyle. Thank you, Kyle. We love you, Kyle. Come back anytime. Uncle Kyle will call you. And she's just going to game until the wee hours of the night because that's who she is. Oh, and she's going to read. She's going to sit right next to Kyle. Look at this friendship. It's giving best friends. It's giving maybe childhood friends, childhood friends. Long lost. She just forgot him for a little bit, but she's like, oh yeah, Kyle, he cleans up. He sleeps on the couch where he's supposed to. I'll read next to him. I'm not tired. Okay, well let's, oh, Kyle's waking up. Kyle's waking up at 2 a.m. And they're just chatting. Look, he's just watching her play video games. Grandma woke up. She's like, what is going on? Oh, look, they're playing together a little loudly at 2.15. A 3 a.m. gaming session. Doesn't get better than this. She's going to wake up like, I stayed up all night with my friend, my childhood friend Kyle. Jari has a loose tooth. She should be expecting to lose it soon. Wiggle the tooth. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Yari can bite the bullet. Yari's totally the type to bite the bullet. I'm going to have her pull out her loose tooth in front of the guest. And Kyle's dancing again. Oh, she did it. She pulled out her tooth. Kyle would wash his hands. He doesn't look like someone that would wash his hands, but he's he's the ideal guest. Of course, he's going to wash his hands. Good job, Pax. Let's blow some raspberries after the diaper change. Vital order. Yari is uncomfortable. She's trying to talk to Grandma about it. I'm going to have her throw a tantrum. She's like, no one's paying attention to me. I just pulled out my own tooth and nobody cares. Nobody cares. Disapprove of lack of, of discipline. I'm going to do that. She disapproves. Ooh, new family dynamic difficult when it comes to authority. Some younger Sims just do not know how to respect their elders. And it's certainly looking that way between Tina and Yari. Family members with a difficult family dynamic will be mean to each other more often. The younger Sim will be less likely to follow the rules or demands of older Sims. <gasps> they do have a difficult family dynamic. They do. Let's have her continue to teach herself how to ride a bike. She's unfazed by the interaction with grandma. Unfazed. Okay. She's back. She's taking care of baby. Kyle is still here. Who is this? Ag Agatha Crumplebottom. We would love for you to come visit vid visit us again in Hanford on Badgley. Okay, I just said no. I said no to a visit because we have Kyle over. Too much is happening. Too much is happening. Oh, we're having a welcome wagon now? You hi neighbors. This is exciting. We get to meet the neighbors of, of the new town. We have Christopher Michelson. Wait, did Kyle leave? Oh, nope. All of this, we're on day two. Kyle is still here. Having a baby is hard. I forget how hard having a baby is. It's rewarding though, you know? It's rewarding. It's the little things, you know? It's their smiles. Yari's teaching herself to ride the bike again. Why is she so smelly? I have so much respect for through the, through the flowers. Grandma's not gonna like that. Increased confidence and she's doing it all herself. Pax is throwing away all the all the trash. Thank you, Pax. Kyle sleeping on the couch. All these all these family chores happening. And Kyle is asleep on the couch. <laughs> wake up i'm gonna I'm, i think it's time i think kyle is the perfect guest has been the perfect guest but perhaps he has overstayed his welcome yeah i think he just has to leave on his own this is so funny you can't i don't think you can ask them to leave they just have to they have to leave on their own he's just here until he wants to leave the perfect guest is slowly becoming a nightmare guest pax 
and Bell will see this dance in their sleep, in their nightmares, rather. He's been here for three days now. They were talking about money. She was like, so money, so like a place to stay. Like, do you have that? Like, it seems like she's still enjo enjoying Kyle's presence. It doesn't seem like she's bothered by it yet. Good compatibility. Hey, not bad. Based on their preferences, these Sims have pretty good compatibility. Yari really cannot stand being around a Sim. She has a grudge against. Is it her grandma? I think it's Tina. She, I think she has a grudge against Tina. Okay, interesting. So now we have possibly jokesters between Belle and Yari. I'm just going to go with it. I'm going to go with it because maybe their family dynamics changing. Maybe their relationship dynamic is going to change. Okay. Maybe as she gets older, she gets more independent. She cares less about trying to please her mom and she just jokes around with her. And maybe, maybe her mom is more accepting of her differences in, in hobbies and things like that. Maybe Kyle's kyle's visit where she got to connect with somebody else about video games she's like you know what i don't have to rely on my family to to enthuse about video games i have my friends i have other people in life that i can do that with i don't have to rely on my own child and be upset at my own child for not having the same interests so maybe kyle was the person we needed all along to teach us the value of family and friendships redefine friendships teach us to accept our family as they are as they come it was kyle all along Okay, she's doing a little breastfeed, little baby breastfeed. I love how the parents have been tag teaming this expertly, might I add. Wait, did Kyle leave? Is Kyle leaving? No, Kyle's just still here. Okay. <laughs> she's going to age up. Okay, I'm going to age up, Gio, right now. It's time. It's time. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yay, Gio aged up. Gio has earned a bonus trait. See all of his bonus traits in the Symology panel. Toddlers, day spent. Playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears. Oh, wait, this is a perfect time to start. Angelic. I want to continue with the storyline. I'm going to do angelic because they just love, like, Geo is their golden child. Oh, movement skill. Yay. Look at him run, walking around already. Oh, it tells you. It tells you on the calendar how long somebody's stay is. So it's Sunday through Friday. <laughs> I mean, it was before Sunday, I think. It was before Sunday. So he's here until Friday. I didn't realize the calendar tells you. Well, look at it. He said, I'm here for a good time and a long time, if you will. You know, we're really just like moving along with them through their life milestones as the kids grow up, as, as the family dynamic changes, as Kyle stays on the couch. Now I'm going to fast forward and just kind of see what happens. Thank you, Kyle, for helping out. At least he helps out, but he still does his little dance. The dance is going to drive me crazy. It was endearing at first. Oh, no. Oh, Gio. That's not good. Kyle is playing in the dirt. Kyle. Gio is sitting here in diapers, in a dirty diaper. Child services is going to come take Gio away. Please help. Yay. Oh my God. And I'm going to ask for a bath too. Please. Oh, thank you, Kyle. We are, we are making Kyle put in work. He's not staying a full week just to sit around. He's putting in work. He's changing the baby. He's washing the baby. He's about to do some cleaning around here in a second. Yari is super tired. She just passed out. And the poor babies in this household, they're going through it. The parents are working hard. And Kyle is holding the family together. Help. Food. Get me food, please. Oh, Kyle is the best. Kyle, you are the best. Thank you. Thank you. I know I was making fun of you for dancing, but now you are keeping my child alive. Thank you. Always oh, giving him peace. Thank you, Kyle. Kyle's character arc? I mean, come on. The best character arc out of the whole family. Kyle is the glue that holds this family together. He's like, Kyle. Oh, Kyle. It's almost time for Kyle to go. It has truly been a roller coaster of emotions. Kyle, it has been so real. You've got one more day, bud. It's almost Tina's time. Make most of these final days. Oh no, Tina's been working up into her final days. Tina's gonna retire. Kyle left. Y'all, I think Kyle just left. He just left without saying goodbye. Kyle left without saying goodbye and he left his suitcase here. He's like, there was nothing in there anyways. <laughs> oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. Our strong friendship got me thinking, can I move in with you? No, Kyle, you can't move in with us. We have no room for you. But you know what? Grandma is about to pass away. There's going to be a whole open room. I'm going to say yes. Kyle's the perfect roommate. He took care of Gio when everyone was out. Gio's moving in. Gio's rich. 
Gio just added $20,000 to our household fund. This was the best decision we've ever made. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means we can finally afford? We are living a charmed life. Karma, karma, karma. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. We can now buy a tree house. We now have a swing set. We have this lovely splash pad still. It's time for my kitchen upgrade. Thank you, Kyle. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Thank you so much, Kyle. You've done more for this family than we could have ever possibly imagined. Okay, well, Kyle is officially part of this household. <laughs> oh, absolutely, Kyle likes to dance, obviously. Okay, so we have a library. <gasps> it's like a vacation rental. And then a rec center. Okay, let's go to the rec center. Let's have a Kyle Yari bonding moment. I feel like they haven't bonded a lot. A little map, jog around the pond, walk around the pond, reflective walk. Okay, so the rec center has like a little play, a little play area for kids. It has some toys, which is really nice because, oh, and there's a gym. You know what I love about this? This would be great for like the challenges where you start off with like nothing. You can come here, get all the enrichment you need. There's music, there's art. You can gain skills without having to buy all this stuff. There's computers. No, this rec center is for the people. There's even a little potty. There's a little, like, what is that? Greenhouse conservatory. Look at, they're playing together. Look at Pax building the treehouse. I just love how we've adopted a full-grown man. That is simply my favorite thing that we've chosen to do in this playthrough is adopt a full-grown man after in an unexpected stay. Are we going to age up? <gasps> ah, Yari aged up. Wow, Yari, that is an interesting outfit. Cute. Okay, Yari has a regular fit now. Look, Grandma got to see Yari grow up. Okay, now we're going to have Gio grow up into a kid. Here he goes. Yay! Woo, woo, woo. Okay. Yay, Gio. I thought I was recording for this last bit and I wasn't. I have to give a recap because not that much happened. Enough happened. Basically, we remodeled the house. Um, We finished the teen room. We finished Yari's room. We remodeled the bathrooms and I was freaking out over this new bathtub that comes with the set because it's very, very cute. And it's my new favorite bathtub slash shower combo. We we upgraded the bathrooms. They had a little renovation time. Um little renovation time over here. You shall see little renovation. And then you'll notice somebody is missing. I'll show you. It was grandma. <laughs> grandma passed. It was very, very emotional. It was very emotional. I didn't get the footage of grandma passing, but grandma passed literally right here. And then I was reflecting on everything that this pack has taught us, which is it redefined what friendship meant for me. It redefined familial, the strength of familial love because I put in all these these family dynamics and created the storyline to be like, you know, maybe there's going to be this this rift, this this one member of the, member of the family is their golden child who likes everything they like and it's and is fulfilling their their familial destiny. And then this other child who's the problem child and fiercely independent and wants to go off and forge their own path. But at the end of the day, they all ended up bonding and being able to get past that in some ways in some ways you know everybody still showed their love for each other in different ways and welcoming a stranger into our home welcoming possibly an old forgotten childhood friend you know Belle was like who is this I don't know who's calling but sure you can stay for a week she opened her home to someone she didn't even know and he ended up becoming a member of the family he ended up reshaping what family meant for this family who's so so loyal to each other so tight-knit they welcomed him in with open arms thought he was gonna stay for a week ended up staying for forever and that's what redefining family and friendship means in this game i love that i love that that's what growing together taught us i love the items of this pack i love the world of this pack like i was i was scrolling around like wow we didn't even look at this area look at this beautiful 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 suburban town in the fall with all of the communal areas the rec centers the libraries i love it i love it i love it just a lesson to to always welcome those in your life be open to redefining what family looks like know that just because you have some differences of interest in your family it doesn't mean that you have to go it alone. Your family is still there to support you. I think that's what we've learned. We've we've taken that away from the cozy family today. Bye. <laughs> Gila says goodbye. <gasps> One last Kyle dance. Oh, that's what we needed to close this out. Oh my God, growing together is out now. Thank you, EA, for sponsoring this video. Goodbye, cozy family. We'll love you forever. And Grandma Tina will always hold a special place in our heart. Goodbye. <laughs>